everybody, and welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. I'm a Nick Bane, and the last one we crashed our ship right fucking here on Blood Island. And uh, now we are going to do some stuff. Our crew is mutinied. They're fixing the ship and getting ready to leave. So let's use our mouth with this bottle. Yay! Alright, now let's leave the beach. Leaving the beach. Alright, I'd say probably about now. We're just about halfway through the game. At this point. Um, I'm not positive on that. Don't hold me to it, but... Alright. Elaine looks like she's alright. Hang on, honey! I'm going to get you out of this mess. Not yet, you aren't. Alright, well, she's good there. We'll have to leave her there. For now. Um, go there, but let's try over here first. Oh, guy brush! I'm gonna double click. Let's get to th let's get the pepper. We need the pepper, sir. But we don't need it. Well, yeah, no, we do need it now. Now I think on it. Alright, and uh, we can't do anything there, so let's go here. This seems an odd place for a hotel. But let us enter it anyway. Alright, um, let's talk to this this gentleman here who looks like he is sleeping. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and I'm a Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Ah, Find okay. something to clear my head and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Huh. Alright, let's look at his recipe book. Pirate potables. Let's take it. And let's look in it and see if we can't find a hangover cure. Yellowbeard's baby. Oh, we've seen that before. The bloody stump. The blue whale. We've seen all these drinks before. Phlegm and tonic. That sounds disgusting. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Come on, one part Yellowbeard's baby, one part blue whale. Mix until mucus green in color, add cilantro. We have done this! That's how we won the spinning contest. The bloated tick, ew. Swamp zombie, one bucket of mud. That's disgusting. Actually, look. One cup tequila, one tablespoon maple syrup, a pound of sugar, juice of one salmon, five teaspoons of curry powder, two beets, and cilantro. Drink tequila, combine and discard remaining ingredients. <laughs> oh, I love it! Appendix A. First pirate, uh, pirate's first hangover cure clears foggy heads. One egg, one pepper, and hair of the dog that bit ya. Consult the f physician before using. Do not mix with alcohol before operating rudders or other heavy machinery. It causes extreme, 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 extreme. Extreme, 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 extreme drowsiness. Well, that's good to know. Appendix B. Know the signs by... Uh, cirrhosis. Know the signs by Captain William W. Dizziness, nausea, general unpleasant feeling, death. If symptoms persist, treat with alcohol. Well, there you go. Blonde Beard's top secret biscuit recipe. Two cups of flour, two eggs, a teaspoon of yeast cilantro. Add fly larva to taste. Courtesy of the editor's friend's aunt, who was charged 500 pieces of eight for a complimentary copy of the recipe and has distributed it for free in retaliation. This page intentionally left blank. Okay, well, so we know we need an egg, a pepper, and something else. Uh, the hair of the dog that bit you. Um, let's take his tip jar. He's drunk, he doesn't know what the hell's going on. No, no, don't touch that. <gasps> Oh, my head. Okay, so we can't do that yet. Okay, well, let's talk to her. Speak to the fortune teller. I feel a dark presence coming over me. 
Hi there. Ah! Ah, please, keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush. And you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts of precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever, tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. <laughs> I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines. Giving Ew. you the most excruciating death imaginable. So, are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. Huh. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good lord, woman, stop that screaming. What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. No. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. Well, and the, the voodoo lady did tell us that we were going to die here. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Hit me. <laughs> death. How many of those cards do you have anyway? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you, and no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <laughs> <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Ah, she's giving me the stink eye. You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well... Demon! Demon! Just for that, we're stealing your cards. Look! A three-headed monkey! Ah! Then the prophecies were true! Where? I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. If you say so. Let's go in here. Hmm. Well, there's a giant cheese wheel. There's a magnet. We could use that. And... <clears throat> Scusi. Let us take this cushion. Just for the shenanigans. And let's get out of here. <clears throat> Scusi. Alright, let's go to the cemetery. Alright, we can't get into either of these, the tomb or the crypt, so we're just going to go this way. Oh, 
Oh, there's a dog. Ooh, and tools. Let's take the tools. Let's take the tools. Recycled tools. We don't want recycled tools. We want fresh tools. The mallet. And the chisel. And also... I don't want that. Well, look inside it. It says old blind pew. Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay, we need something. Ah, the biscuit. Ow, he bit me. Huh. What do we need? Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Care of the dog that bit you. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. Excellent. Let's go back to the hotel. And get some, uh... Cheese wheel. That was a disgusting noise. Okay, let's head out. And actually, let's go over here. Let us go over here! And use the unmelted hunk of cheese. Nacho cheese with the cooking pot. I'll just use some of the cheese here. And let's head back. Maybe. Alright, and now we need to go to here. Because, oh look, an egg! Holy shit! Now if we can just get it down. Let's put the cushion on the rocks. Cushion on the rocks! And let's use the mallet with the tree. It's a rubber tree. Hey, look at that. We have an egg. We have pepper. And we have some hair of the dog that bit me. Everything needed for a hangover remedy. Sorry, Gabrush, you were moving too slow. Let's give the egg to the hungover gentleman. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. And, uh... This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Eggs. And where's that pepper? There's the pepper. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. Ew, it's blue. How did it become blue? Ah, much better. Yeah, you can take the rest. Thank you, sir. Um, he won't give us a drink, I don't think. Maybe he will. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands, made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. <laughs> hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. That's a hell of a decorative umbrella. All right. Pichu, here's your glass back. Why did that hurt? I don't understand why that hurt. Let's check upstairs. See if there's anything up here. Guybrush, you walk so slowly. Alright, um... Now I think about it, I actually don't think we can really do much up here. At the moment. Well, it's, it's locked. locked. 
Damn. Can we go through here? We can! Oh wow. That is so unsafe, that nail is sticking out through the wall. Let's make it go back. Uh-oh. Oh shit, we've done broke the picture. Let's take that. Hmm. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. Good call, Guybrush. Holy shit, it worked! What? <laughs> oh, Guybrush. You are a funny, funny man, and you take so long walking downstairs. Alright, now let's take his tip jar. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. That was an easy lie to tell. And here we are back outside. That is going to be it for this episode. In the next one, we will do some more things. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been a Nick Bane, and I will see you next time. Bye!